I would say that maybe we got to Kaisan Road too early, but I think that people really overhyped it. Like, I would definitely say I met some pretty amazing people waiting for my flight to Bangkok, and I almost missed my flight. Welcome, Sawadi, Mahaban, Namaste, Hola, Privia, Kaiso, Konnichiwa. We're all family here, so subscribe and share. Get your free ebook in the description below. Hey guys, so I made it on the airplane. We are in Bangkok Airway. I have to say, comfortability of the seats are definitely a 10 on the 10. The bloom, I ended up getting Hindu. I don't know why I picked Hindu, but I'm kind of happy because with being sick, they had a shrimp meal and it did not look good. I feel like it was going to hurt my stomach. So my meal was chicken with tomato sauce, carrots, and zucchini oh and potatoes got it um there are no outlets on this airplane and it's the 320 which is annoying the tea that they offer the drinks that they offer is tea orange juice and i think coffee um pretty limited no alcohol the other things i will tell you about this airline they use regular metal silverware there's no entertainment or anything but i recommend would I recommend Bangkok Airways? I definitely would. They're pretty comfortable. Um, I had an issue with my carry-on luggage. I just checked it, no issues there. Other than that, I have no complaints. Perfect seating. And for a short domestic flight, I definitely would choose Bangkok Air. I rated this airline a 6.5 out of 10 because I would love to have some um, other amenities, but I don't know how they do domestic flights here in Thailand. So yeah, all right. Okay. Guys, we just touched down in Bangkok. If you're watching this, I am coming to you from the future because I didn't get a lot of footage because I was sick. I don't know what I caught in Phuket, but um. I definitely was out of it. But here we are at the, once again, hotel. Now this hotel was super nice. I wish I had more time to stay here, but I only had a couple of hours. I did meet a really, really awesome friend who ended up hanging out with me for the rest of the night. This hostel is located in the historic Bangkok, Old Town which is a 10 minute stroll from the iconic temple of the Golden Mount and a short 15 minute walk from the vibrant Kai San Road. Accommodation here includes dormitory rooms with air conditioning, spacious built-in beds featuring privacy curtains, personal reading lights, and a secure locker that is situated within your actual bed. The shared bathrooms are equipped with modern shower facilities. They also offer a rooftop terrace, providing a perfect setting for socialization and guests to unwind. They offer TV, movie rooms, and you can explore the city with ease by joining any of their tours to Bangkok's top attractions and taking advantage of additional services such as luggage storage and laundry services and icing on the cake they have massages as well if you want to savor some of thailand's they have on-site holiday cafes and restaurants or you can explore nearby dining options you can enjoy convenient free wi-fi there at the property and they're quoted saying they offer a budget-friendly luxury experience with the attention to privacy and comfort this is actually the second hostel I've ever stayed in. The first one I stayed in was Mango Mansion Hostel in San Juan, Puerto Rico. And that was vibrant energy 100% all the way around. It was closely situated to the ocean and it was like 500 feet from the beach. The hostel provided a range of amenities during your stay. They had complimentary Wi-Fi to stay connected with friends 
their breakfast was really good. Now, I noticed in comparison to the one in Thailand, the only food that they had in Thailand was like eggs and like water if you want oatmeal and whatnot. Their rooms were also equipped with air conditioning as well. The one thing I really liked about the hostel in Puerto Rico is it was so close to La Placita because the nightlife in San Juan was amazing. They had bars, restaurants, nightlife and you could literally just walk there, it wasn't too far. They had options to rent camp gear and other things, which I'm pretty sure Thailand had that, but I didn't stay there long enough to actually check. The one thing that I liked about Thailand that I did not like about Puerto Rico is you actually get a fob to go into your room and out of your room. In Puerto Rico, they actually gave you a key and that's how you would get in and out. Puerto Rico also classified themselves as luxury but when you do the comparison the hostel in Puerto Rico was like camp style bunk bed you actually had to put your own sheets on the beds but the bed was memory foam so I did have a comfortable night for me I really love that the hostel in Thailand had 24 hour concierge service which allowed me to feel safe comfortable actually helped me to get back to the airport and really made me feel comfortable at a time when I I didn't feel 100%. The Thailand hostel was so quiet. I was so afraid to like wake up anyone. With the curtains being closed, I didn't know if anyone was up. So I will say at the Mango Mansion, if you do not like hearing people snore, <laughs> That probably would not be the best hostel for you because it's very open and not so much privacy that you see here in Thailand. I will say I did feel safe walking around Thailand with my friend. Um, however, as we got closer to Kai San Road, there were it's a soup kitchen going on. So we just tried to like ensure that we weren't disrupting. I would say that maybe we got to Kai Song Road too early, but I think that people really overhyped it. Like, I would definitely say Phuket is better if you like to party than Kai San Road. But if I'm just comparing places that I've had to stay in a hostel, Puerto Rico was better. But I don't know if it was because we stayed for a short amount of time. We got there too early. I'm not sure. It was okay. I would go back, but not top of my list of party places. The one thing nice about Kai San Road is you can get a massage, you can buy an outfit, you can get your your hair done you can party you can get your nails done your feet done all at the same time you really don't have to leave at all because <laughs> It doesn't really close. I was really shocked that it was so small. From the stories I hear about Kai San Road, I thought it was large. I thought it would be something like Patong. So I was a little underwhelmed because you don't truly get to see the culture. I think if I had come to Bangkok earlier in the morning for a layover, I would have had a better opportunity to get to explore Bangkok. I think I was only in Bangkok for like six hours. Guys, if you have more time than me and you're in Kai San Road, I came up with 12 ideas that you should do to better see and understand Kai San Road. Let me know if they're helpful or if you have more ideas. List those in the comments below so we can all get a more holistic experience of Bangkok. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure today your support means the world to me and if you have any helpful tips or suggestion for future content please go ahead and drop that in the comments below i truly appreciate your valued input and for those who've made it this far a special thank you to you because i see you out here and i appreciate you if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to stay updated on all of our upcoming content share with a fellow explorer until next time keep exploring stay curious and i'll catch you on the flip side bye